Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be covering interview questions related to risk based testing. Before we go in detail about what is risk based testing and why is it important. Before that, we will try to understand what is all about a risk. Risk is nothing but a probability or a possibility something can happen in future. For that, if you are not going to put a right mitigation plan in case that possibility or that probability happens that may result in a lot of uh, very dangerous situation or bad results in software projects. Because of these reasons, whenever we do testing, we will go for risk based approach. Based on our uh, previous experience, we will try to list down all the risk and potential risk and what is the impact associated with the each risk. It could be your requirements, it could be your uh, software or it could be your hardware, it could be your uh, defects or it could be your resourcing or it could be your uh, mobile devices, hardware devices, any kind of uh, resources in that matter for every resources will have risk associated with it and uh, we will have to evaluate that. Once we do the evaluation, once we do a prioritization of those risks, then based on that we will do a testing. That is called as a risk based testing. Apart from these resources, we will also be evaluating in terms of the defects as well. Defects again, various uh, forms of defects will be there. Again here as well, we will assess which defect is very impact to the client, which defects we will have to fix at the earliest. All those things we will be discussing together and we will come up with a common plan which is a mitigation plan. So that is all about uh, risk based testing. If we do risk based testing that would uh, give us uh, the overall product or application which you are going to test which will be more efficient as well as uh, which would be effective testing because we cannot go and test uh, all the things and we will have to take uh, risk based approach only. If you do the right mitigation plan, right approach, definitely the risk based testing is one of the best uh, testing approach I can say. Now we will see how can we identify and prioritize the risk in uh, risk based testing. What we should do here is we should uh, assess potential uh, defects which is available in the system after uh, our testers raise the defects. Uh, we will have to evaluate each defects uh, when these defects will come up and what is the criticality of the defect in the software or a business that is going to impact to the customer. So based on that uh, we will be identifying and as well as if it is a high impact is there, if there is a high impact is there we will prioritize with the high priority. If it is not much impact is there then we will put those uh, issues in the low risk categories. Then the next entry question is can you give a few example of a risk that you identified how you addressed it in your previous project. What we should do here is we should uh, talk about uh, certain risks like uh, here I have given the performance related issue in a software. Because of few issues or few defects our software uh, is completely degrading its performance under uh, too much load. That is the risk uh, we are identified. Then uh, how will you address this risk? We perform the load testing with the various parameters and various uh, load conditions. At least that guarantees us that uh, whenever this kind of risk arises, this is a solution we are able to find out uh, by assessing the, those risks and as well as putting the right mitigation plan. That's how you should explain for this interview question. Then next question is how do you ensure that all risks have been identified and addressed in risk based testing. For that uh, what we have to do is regularly we have to involve all the stakeholders and uh, once the risks are identified by talking to the various uh, stakeholders we have to review each uh, risk regularly because the risk can uh, impact maybe sometime more or sometime less. When we are involving all the stakeholders, everybody will give their opinion and their priority and their uh, risk associated with that. And based on that, we have to put an assessment plan. This is the overall uh, process we do as a risk management uh, uh, 
approach for uh, throughout in that project by doing uh, risk analysis by involving all the stakeholders that would guarantee that um, uh, we are bringing a lot of expertise lot of knowledge in identifying and as well as analyzing the risk so that we can put the right mitigation plan um, for that given project or for that testing project uh, in that way definitely we can assess the right risk and we can mitigate it and we can bring the right testing approach as well with this uh, method the next question is how do you balance the cost and effort of testing with the potential impact of risk again the balancing here is uh, we have to do a detailed analysis identification and we have to prioritize as well based on the impact potential impact of that uh, risk and uh, how often this risk may pop up based on our experience past experience we'll do the those analysis then only we can bring the right balance between the overall cost and effort because we cannot pick uh, even lowest risk we cannot pick the lowest risk and we started working because if we pick up the lowest risk uh, uh, issue then we start working the cost becomes very high and efforts also become very huge what we should do here is we should uh, assess in such a way that only high impacted risk we should work and low impacted risk we may ignore for some time whenever we have uh, efforts and cost then we will go and work later if there is uh, not much impact to the customer and the next question is how do you integrate risk based testing into your overall testing strategy this is also a very important question how will you integrate you can integrate easily with your testing strategy by doing uh, as we said earlier very key thing is uh, identifying assessing the risk is very crucial every test plan test strategy will have risk management plan as well where we will be assessing uh, each and every risk uh, uh, which is going to pop up in future again based on our past experience execution so many projects might have executed based on that experience we may also anticipate similar kind of risk may come here as well based on that we are prioritized based on that uh, we will uh, put our resource allocation and uh, based on that risk we are going to execute the overall uh, test plan and the next uh, interview question is how do you ensure that risk based testing is aligned with the goals and the overall objectives of the project as we discussed earlier we should talk to the all the stakeholders because stakeholder management is very crucial in any software testing project especially in identifying the risk the stakeholder management is very crucial and we should get the all the feedback from all the stakeholders let's say our testing project stakeholders are our test manager test leads uh, development manager architects few developers they'll work together and form a risk identification process and will they will put uh, try to put the mitigation plan as well in case if that risk really pops up then uh, we can just follow the mitigation strategy and we can uh, go and execute the project this is how we should align uh, with the overall goals and objectives of the project uh, in the risk based testing these are the some of the very important risk based testing they will ask you in uh, any interview i hope you guys got a clear idea now what is all about risk based testing what are the various interview question they might ask if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video bye for now take care